We will build those muscles and work on gas. We will really need it. As Carissa has mentioned, I graduated at the age of 21 years old from university. And for the past 10 years, I have been working from shipping companies to oil and gas companies to sales industries and to starting my business. And there are three lessons that throughout the last 10 years that I wish I would have known earlier. Or should I say, I will take it to heart. Because this three particular lesson has been passed on to me for many, many times, but I choose to ignore them. Now, the first lesson that I've learned is to appreciate growth over money. When I first graduated as a young accountant, I went to a long shipping company and they gave me a pay of a thousand three. And I was so happy because that was my first job. And over years of working, in fact not many years, this one year, there was no pay rise and I was getting frustrated because most of my fellow graduates have gotten higher salaries and they were enjoying life and I was telling myself and I was asking, when can I get a pay rise? An opportunity came, a new financial controller came and he asked, Ellen, would you like to have the opportunity to learn and see how you turn over a company? Because at that particular time, the company was not doing well and they are looking for a financial control that knows inside out to bring it back on track. So this was a great opportunity for me. But at the same time, without informing my company, I applied to an international oil gas company. Now, they offered me double pay, and they offered me a lot of benefits. They offered me a lot of opportunities as well. And then I was sitting down. Which should I choose? Should I choose money or should I choose an opportunity for growth? And as most people would say, when you are young, go for experience, go for opportunity. They have told me many times, but I choose to ignore and I say, money means more to me at a particular point because I need to buy a new car and I need to go on a date. <laughs> so I chose the later. Later do I find out that it's actually the same job, it's just that you are doing the same, you are facing the same pool in a different toilet. Okay, that, was, that, that, was, that is how I would say, that is how I would describe my job. They said that glass is always greener from the other side, but let me tell you, it's not true. It's not necessarily true. And I found that out. So if I were here to go back and I would cherish one lesson, it would be do not sacrifice growth for the sake of money. So that's lesson, lesson number one. The second lesson that I've learned is that value your self, value your time. I read this story about a child borrowing money from his father. The reasons being, he wanted to ask his father, how much do you earn in an hour? Because I would like to buy that one hour from you so that you can spend your time with me. After listening to that story, I started taking out a calculator, not like what Jason has, the PX, whatever, whatever calculator, but it's more a simple calculator and I do a simple calculation. How much is my money income? How many hours do I work a day? And the final figure, I was being paid $10 an hour. And I look at myself, I was asking, so does it mean that if any point of the time in the future, my wife or my child has an emergency, all they need to do is to pay $11 and I can tell my boss I'm going to go attend to them. So from that moment onward, I knew that I need to value myself a little bit more. And I got this from a very close friend of mine. He introduced a business to me and he said, well, Alan, you should go. And I told them, well, I will charge $40 an hour. And then I got rejected. And he said, you should charge more. I said, no. This is what I will charge. Then I came back with the second proposal and I charged $100 per hour. And he came back to me and said, No, I will not accept. I said, No, this is good for your company. You should, charge, you should take it $100 per hour. Then he said, Go higher than that. Lastly, I submitted a quotation $400 per hour. And he said, Good, I'll consider that. And I was still wondering, Why is that so? All the while, this message was to me was that you need to value your time. If you do not even value your own time, nobody else would. If you think you are worth that much only, people will look at you that way. 
So that was the second lesson that I learned throughout the past decade. Now the third lesson that I learned is how much does your dream cost? Two years ago, I sat up with a bunch of friends, in the exact five of us together. We sat down and we asked one simple question. What would you like to do? And everyone come up, we want to run a business and we want to start a business. And we said, great, let's come up with an idea. All of us locked down on one idea. Start a business by doing a franchise. And we said, let's fund it. Next thing you know, four of us said no. Because they have better things to do. They have better things that they want to buy. So at that particular point of time, with no money on hand, I thought, well, probably I shouldn't really dream about this. My friend finance, went for a finance to get a house. Some of them finance to get a marriage. So in legal terms, their wife doesn't belong to them because of the bank, because they haven't finished paying the loan yet. <laughs> at that time, I told myself, instead of financing another loan to pay for a lifestyle, I would rather finance a loan to buy that dream. And I went to the bank and I asked for finance to get the amount of money to start the business. Is it a success? It's still too early to tell. But at least right now, looking back, I can tell myself that, hey, I know how much it will cost. To someone, it costs too much to sacrifice. But to me, and it costs, to me, it's just that. It's, it's not too much to sacrifice for, but it's definitely not that little to eat more. Okay, so that's the third lesson to find out the cost of the dream. So, to, find, to sum up my speech, one of my inspirations once said this, this by Steve Jobs, said that life is about connecting dots. And the way you can connect dots is looking backwards and not looking forward. Throughout these 10 years, I wish I would have known this. But now, at 30 years old, looking back, everything makes much more sense to me. Because now, I felt that, well, I should have done it earlier on. But not doing that, I learned another lesson through another way as well. So not, there's nothing about, there's nothing that I would regret about. It's just that I will cherish what I've gone through a little bit. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having me.